You've seen them slithering behind the glass enclosures at the zoo, but over the last couple of days, many of you have spotted snakes in places a lot less comforting, right by your house. And you can thank several days of rain for that. If we've had a lot of rain uh, and, and then the sun comes out, they're going to be seeking to warm up because unless they're warm enough, they're not going to be able to, to hunt and feed themselves. Dan Maloney is deputy director for the Jacksonville Zoo and Gardens and the resident snake expert. He says in addition to needing sunlight after a long rain, snakes are likely to come out looking for shelter if their habitat is flooded out. That can include areas like your garage or carport. If that's the case, Dan Maloney says it's best to leave them alone. The snake really doesn't want to engage you. It rather, would rather not. But what you should do if one should end up in your living room. Now, Dan does say if you find a snake inside your house, it's okay to try to move it. He suggests using something long like a broom. There are six venomous snakes native to Florida, including the diamondback rattler, the timber rattler, the pygmy rattler, a coral snake, copperhead, and water moccasin. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.